Designs, everything is so vibrant. The character is that kind of reminds me of like Jojo. It looks like this is going to be anime wacky races with a bit of red light sprinkled in there. Kind of in a very unique animation. setting of good old why. Japanese speaking 1920s America. Ever since oh, Shirobako, okay. I feel yeah. like PA Works just hasn't quite hit the mark with its anime only originals. Ah. But with the passion I feel being put into this and Definitely Violet Emigata's composer every call during the OST, I've got a good mm -hmm. feeling about this one. To get our usual rundown of sequels out of the way, Kaguya is back, we've got Fruits Basket, the book Isekai. Is anyone still at actually watching Shokugeki? How have you not given up on this yet? Oh, we also got I haven't watched Season 2, can't forget about minute. that. Eh? Oh, we still Season 2? Right, class, who here has an unhealthy hobby of watching things that emotionally obliterate them? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you ever watch yeah. a single episode of an anime and even though nothing substantial or dramatic happens, you think to yourself, yeah, this show's gonna fucking destroy me. Seeing yesterday for me was something that quietly emanated that this could be something special, even if on paper it's just a slice of life romance drama with characters that are past adolescence and into adulthood. There's no dramatic premise, there's no melodrama to tug at your heartstrings, it's just been a while since I've seen writing so emotionally resonant. It just yeah, captures I mean, post adolescence really so like crazy painfully like, well. If it's like There'll that be times emotion, where characters will just throw out this line, and like without drama, dwelling on it or like, making a big deal, you think Crap. Uh, I don't know, maybe... That hits way too close to April? home. No, the anime you April? You was it called? Your April or something like that? It was, it was like a musical type of anime. It was actually really, really good. Definitely had like a horrible emotional type of anime. It was really, I thought it was really Each great. Each episode has been the so manga I heard was even better too. It feels like you've gone through a whole season in just 20 minutes. That by the end of the first episode, I was already 100% invested. This is an absolutely beautiful show, and I'm pleasantly Might surprised that after anime, all the cute girls and cute kids show Dokoko yeah, is known for, they've put, immediately put the found their groove put, with can, depressed can, adults do existential crisis things. Still have no idea what the title actually means though. Now, for yeah. a show I had no idea or have <laughs> any interest in, guy, a workplace comedy about mm. radio broadcasting. See, what I love about a show like this, this is that I could have no prior knowledge or interest in the subject matter it tackles, but the main lead is such an engrossing and entertaining character, I can't help but appreciate the skill and talent that goes into being a great radio host by watching her journey and becoming one. Mad props to a voice actress who is as impressive as the narrative needs her to be, with a voice performance that is absolutely captivating. It feels Bro, like you're right. listening to a rock good performance every time she opens her mouth while sucker punching you with this completely in your face machine gun delivery. What is this like a musical type dude, bro? <laughs> what is this like a record? <laughs> That's what I've never seen before. An anime where a girl is to become like a record? My boy, now, I've never seen anything like that before. To send to your that's not that's what you call crush. taking it to like a whole new different Roses level, bro. Are red, violets, something ain't gonna see too much, bro. This is kind of oh, a mess. My 16 year old self would have ab hold on, let's stop that real quick. And kind of want to get this caption in real quick, too. Let's see, English. Absolutely. Bang. Yeah, my man's hit us with an ad, my boy. I don't know that. I'm gonna have to check out that one anime though. That looks pretty good. That looks, that looks pretty fire. Eaten up. So it's a good thing I haven't actually been aged since then. So far, this has followed the edgy death game faller to a T. Gratuitous See, violence, uh, horniest. Oh. Spineless Queen protagonist normally looks like in any other show. Here's what a Spineless Queen protagonist actually looks like to a mentally unstable anime girl in a death game. But even so, this one actually looks like it's got the production value to back it up. Look at this. Yeah, that, the, the, the animation the production in this anime looks actually pretty good. Animation, but it's how they've conveyed a sense of weight I'll so give it a watch well. though, for sure. You can sure. absolutely feel the power behind these punches. Furry what the heck? Never is this thing gonna bear? Also, I've got to give a shout out to Claire. Uh, uh, I don't have a sleep in on uh, you know, gas line cough, but sometimes you find no cash just the perfect amount of crazy. She doesn't do look like uh, that, that girl, bro. Is like, this is a bad idea. This is definitely a bad idea. She is not worth the risk. What do you think, Dick? I want to risk it all. I'm scared. And yet somehow turned on. I don't know, man. It's that <laughs> smile. It's something about that <laughs> damn smile. Wait a minute. In conclusion, Yo. don't stick your dick in crazy. Let crazy stick herself in you. 
What is this, Parasite? Isekai this season with a female protagonist this time, and my first thought when I saw this was, man, I'm pretty sure this title was longer than her original lifespan. I didn't Ooh. think the reverse harem isekai would be my thing, but it had a surprisingly interesting concept about a girl who's reincarnated into an Atome game as the villainess. And having played the game in her previous life, she realizes that all the endings to the game lead to her dying or being exiled. So she has to try and style her way into a new possible That's ending. Just... I think what hurts the most though is that her all harem is probably more believable than 90% of every other harem I've seen. Because she reminded me that unlike most other bland harem protagonists, she's actually active. And there's more that goes into collecting love interests than just existing. In season two of I'm Not a Furry, but Netflix are slowly building the furry monopoly, licensing Trigger's adaptation of the furry versus gamers TikTok war. You know, I've got to give it to Trigger. They've done some great stuff, but a lot of it can be hit or miss. But we always end up watching them anyway, and this will be no different. Because I mean, it's Trigger. If it's good, so, we'll another praise anime, heaven, anime and if it's type bad, beat? we'll just say A1 Pictures made it. Honestly, though, this does look on the more promising side of things. People are just gonna say that this is the sequel to the World of Beastars, but what they don't realize. Yeah. Kakushigoto is a new show from the creator of Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei about a manga artist who's trying to hide from his innocent daughter the fact that he's the creator of some kind of famous lewd manga or something. You know, I can't tell yet if this is going to be a nice wholesome comedy or if it's going to shred my heart to pieces. I don't know, bro. I might have a new comedy uh, about a sugar daddy detective uh, who's effectively uh, figured out how to pay to win at life. I'm not really sure how else to describe this show. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. Yeah, that'll do. Looks like the moe flavor of this month is cute girls do fishing and cute girls do baseball. If you're just looking for some cute anime girls having some harmless baseball fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even with what all the, the cancellations heck, we've had, this might be one of the most balanced seasons we've had for a while. No one genre is dominating too much, and there's good enough variety that there's at least one show for everyone. But you may be wondering if there's any other shows I'm keeping an eye on in spring. Well, there might be one. Ah, uh, what? Yes, sir. Tower of God, man. To see go. how an anime will turn out. Tower of God is the first anime project that's come from a collaboration between Crunchyroll and Webtoons. Yeah, okay. You, you, you can definitely see the Webtoons. The Webtoons type um, inspiration wish. in this you Participants you have to pass various tests on every level like to that. ascend, and just from sure. the first few episodes, you can really get a sense of a lot of thought has been put into too, the world so. building, the power systems, and filling it with very colorful cast Tower of God is promising. It's not anything crazy. Crazy, he's not really too, too, too the anything like that's too, like, out of, like, like tower, uh, just so he can get the chance to see some blonde chick. It's time to simp. So far, Listen, it's given off some heavy hunter hunter vibes like, in a good way, not to mention Kevin Pinkett is also sure. doing the soundtrack, so it's got a lot of things going for it. But, um, this looks like it could be some premium it. shonen junk food, but oh, what interests me more is what it can be in the wider anime landscape. Webtoons is a platform that has popped up exclusively during the age of the internet. Originating from Korea, it was a place where artists could upload their own stories and has been the place that has popularized Korean webcomics. Nowadays, it's populated with stories from people all over the world, but the yeah, perfect man. Tower of God is the first of a few shows to be adapted on the platform, this could spell a new era of this industry because this opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Solo leveling is in webtoons, but you can bet if this goes down well, there's gonna be a lot of interest. Korean manhwa adaptations in general might not be a far off dream. And hell, what about the world of Chinese manhwa? Anything could be free game if this experiment pans out. So make no mistake, if this turns out to be a good adaptation and a massive hit, which it very much looks like it could be, this could be one of the most important anime of recent times and the show we look back to that signaled the start of a new landscape but can't you, yeah, I agree though also, I agree Yuri is this, my girl this I'm just gonna claim her now you're cool with like that really I don't even care if she comes packaged in like with a little dwarf me? helper but tell me huh. do you guys get the devil in the private type of people? hey guys 
guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Oh, Thank yeah. you again to Hong Kong Impact 3rd for sponsoring this video. Right. I think the work they are doing is fucking yeah, fantastic yeah. and they are really pushing the boundaries of what you can do with mobile gaming. So if this looks interesting to you, click the link in the description to give it a go and check out the massive update that they just dropped. And with that said, thank you very much to Walto, Weebologist Ricky, Robert Harnborg, Joe Augustine, Mike Elfin, Zog Mondo, and everyone else on my Patreon for helping to support me for this month. I hope quarantine's been treating you well. I, I don't know what the fuck to do with myself anymore. There's only so much anime I can watch before going fucking insane, okay? Damn, I really should've got a fucking haircut before quarantine started. Hey, man, you need both, bro. You, 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 you wanna say hi? Well, I hope you guys have something to keep you company during these tough times. What the fuck has quarantine done to us? <laughs> From our door to yours, we're here for hey, you man, with Wawa Delivery. For the, uh, have video, your Wawa bro. favorites. Um, I definitely do see what he's saying. Ah, let me make this video real quick. What the heck? Why am I getting all these notifications? Uh, let me like the video real quick. What this did video I is... Ignore that. I like... Listen, I'm gonna like the video. I don't know why I didn't like the video first. But, um... Yeah, man. Uh, shout out to Geek Guy. I definitely need to check out some of these anime. Tower of God is definitely, is definitely going to be, like, one of the main factors of... Uh, well, bro, bro, come on, fam. Tower of God is definitely one of, like, the main factors of this, uh, this spring anime and stuff like that. I'm definitely looking forward to see, like, where that's gonna lead. I definitely need to check out some of the other anime that my man... Uh... Geek up that, that that he brought up because there's some anime here that I didn't check out. Something I did it for sure. Um, but yeah. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna have to try to get three videos out for today. So keep a lookout for that. And I will see you guys in my next video. I'm sorry for the whole message popping up on my screen. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know what's up with that, bro. I have to mute it. But I'll see you guys in my next video, man. But bye, Z. Alright, guys.